really quickly just before we get into today's video rocketpresses.com is the sponsor of the channel so if you haven't already make sure you go and check them out they do cheap roughly crates and items if you're going to be buying anything off them make sure you use code D at checkout for a nice 3 percent discount enjoy the video ever zombie apocalypse <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? It's Decent Gamer here and today I wanted to have a discussion about the free to play update which is coming in exactly two weeks, August 31st on a Monday surprisingly. We don't seem to get updates on a Monday from Sonic, but hey, this update must be, uh, must be somewhat different. But yeah, like I wanted to kind of have, have a discussion with you guys and also share my thoughts also give some tips and tricks to how you can make the most or make the worst of this update so yeah uh, I'd like to start off with by basically saying was the update a good idea in all seriousness I do think that this update will be massive for Rocket League as a game itself because you know the game's been out for <laughs> five nearly six years now so for it to eventually become free to play is a big thing because you know it could be like with fortnite where we're like it gains so much more popularity from being free to play because at the moment it's about 15.99 or or there's loads of different editions it's always on discount things like that but this update will benefit the people who have mates who have rocket league and and then their friends don't have it so you know it's like you could turn around and say to someone that's wanted rocket league for ages like oh yeah like i don't know you should just download rocket league and come and have a few games with me things like that and and also it'll help fuel the overall economy for trading esports because there'll be a lot more people wanting to watch uh, RLCS knowing that they can get free fan rewards things like that so in in my eyes I see it as more of a good update more than the negative side of the update which that's one thing we will be talking about because there is a lot of negatives but then at the same time I feel like the positives sort of outweigh the negatives because the negatives of the update are kind of to do with with how it'll affect trading things like that because because as you know the Cyanix has said that they don't want to ruin the trading economy but with this update they might have draw, just shot the bullet because um moving on to talking about the rise in beta items so as you know uh for beta there was a Rocket League Beta for PC and PS4. On PS4, we only have Beta Nugget, so you know that in itself has went up from like four and a half thousand to like fifteen thousand in in like what about a week, which is absolutely ridiculous. I can see why it's went up though, because the PC version of the Beta Nugget is sat at around thirty to thirty-five thousand, which you know, so. Obviously, the PC stuff's going to go up, like an Alpha Cap went up, the Alpha Beast went up, Goldstones haven't, um, and yeah, the Beta Nuggets stayed the same. But the rise in beta items is going to be ridiculous when this update comes out because Nintendo Switch and Xbox One don't have those sort of items. So, as you can imagine, people are going to be linking their accounts to xbox who have beta nuggets on ps4 and they'll be able to make an absolute fortune off it because you know there isn't meant to be beta nuggets on um on on other platforms apart from pc and ps4 but hey that's what they're doing with this update and also moving on now to the plummet in rlcs items now, Cyanex did say in the blog post that drops, aka Rocket League item drops, um, they will be able to be traded on other platforms because it is considered a free item. You didn't have to purchase it. So, over the past week or so, the RLCS market has become an absolute shambles. Things like White Dune Racer, Painted Apexes, Painted Emeralds, 
anything that was initially expensive is like decreased a lot like white pixels on ps4 were like 95 to 100k and now they're like 74 to 84k so that's a significant drop in a week but what what i can see happening with the rcs stuff is that the market will eventually stable out meaning that like that like once the update is all sorted everything like starts to settle in the prices will start to even out because oil insider will end up becoming a um a massive like like a massive spreadsheet that isn't that isn't just specific to pc ps4 and xbox one and it'll just be like a market for all items on all platforms but uh, yeah, if you haven't heard of Oil Insider, I'll leave a link in the description. It's basically where you can check out um, like like the values for your items. Like they have every single item on there. Every time a new update comes out, they update the site. It's really reliable, and that's what most people use. Now, now on to how the market will change. It'll change significantly because there'll be a lot more items in circulation for everybody because like as you can imagine it's going to be the pc market the xbox market ps4 and the small nintendo switch market all coming together so a lot of items will either shoot up in price they'll drop in price or a lot of items will stay the same because like you know like your lower tier exotic wheels they'll all stay the same Higher tier black markets may drop or rise, or you never know, they could stay the same. Painted Octanes will end up staying the same, or they may end up rising, because Nintendo Switch Octanes are significantly higher. Um, but yeah, like the, the market for trading won't change that much, but it will have a drastic effect on rarity. So it's like... So it's like with people with striker RCS sets and it'll be like a one of one on on PS4 for example. But then on like other platforms there'll be loads of them. So rarity for sets is gonna decrease insanely and that's that's how I could see the market changing. Um now onto things that are and aren't tradable. So Painted octanes, so like the non-crit very rares, the non-crit imports, uh, RLCS items, and and also apparently things that you got from crates before the um, before the blueprint update, they will all be tradable once you link your account to other platforms. But you can't be on your PS4 and on an Xbox linked with the same Epic game account, of why it won't let you use those items uh but yeah that's the other things that will be tradable you can't transfer your credits because you know as you can imagine if they'd allowed uh people to transfer credits people would uh people would be hoarding loads of credits and yeah it, it'd just be a mess um but yeah you can make some insane profit if you invest smartly and you buy things for underpay you get lucky with some stuff when the market all comes together you could sell that and you could make a load and load of credit it's like people who've been buying beta nuggets they invested in them early and now look at the profit because they've went up because of this update being announced but um yeah also i'd like to just mention something that you guys may or may not know um this hasn't been confirmed uh, by by Sanix themselves on the website, but one of the devs actually confirmed that yes, we will be getting Rocket League supported creator code. So you know how Epic Games has the supported creator code system uh, for Fortnite uh, and and other games that are made by Epic. You'll now be able to put a content creator's code in the Rocket League item shop, which is pretty pretty insane. Now. I already have one, as you can see it on the screen. <laughs> if you'd like to use it in the Fortnite item shop, make sure you do so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like that that'll be really big for the game because there's been a lot of 
asking for that like people being able to support their favorite creators um via via just having a a uh, a creator code in the uh, shop but uh yeah as always i'd love to know your guys's thoughts and opinions on what i talked about today because i'd like to create a discussion in the comment section what do you think uh of the update is it impacting you massively or are you not too bothered because you don't really trade that much because it it's mainly going to affect people who are big big traders not as much smaller traders or people who play the game competitively but uh yeah if i did miss anything make sure you let me know in the comment section down below and uh yeah hopefully you all have a wonderful rest of your day as always take care and i'll see you guys very soon i've got better swag than anyone